Courtney here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. Woohoo! Okay, so you're going to be my last read. I'm done after this. I have worked so hard. I read from Tories, Tories. See, I'm tired. Taurus all the way to Leo. So you'll be my last read for the day. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye to Cancer's spirit guides and spirit team. Now I'm going to go ahead and welcome in Leo's spirit team's those Leos that watch me, I'm going to invite in their spirit guides, their spirit team, their star family, their ancestors. Welcome to my sacred space. I've already created a protective bubble around us. I have Archangel Michael here to protect the sacred space. I already did my sound clearing, healing. So let's go. Sound clearing. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> All right. All right, Leo. So this is going to be a general read. It's going to resonate with someone. It's not going to resonate with everyone. <laughs> um, this is a timeless read. So whenever you find this reading, it's for you. So don't panic. All right. All of our readings are timeless. However, I will be focusing on the energy of a January. So, <clears throat> and like I said, it's a general read. It's not a love read. Okay. So. <laughs> All right, Neil, let's crack it out. I'm tired. Last read of the night. What do we have for Leo? What does Leo need to know for January? We have the Emperor. Ooh, Leo. So are you stepping into your emperor energy or is the emperor stepping into his emperor energy? <laughs> we have the emperor and we have ten of cups. I don't even know how to say that word. Satiety. S A T I. E T Y. It means like satisfaction. Okay. To draw some more cards because I don't know yet what we have going on. We have the devil card. Ooh, something's not going to go well for that. Damn, Leo, <laughs> everything started out so well. And then all of a sudden we got devil, five of cups, ten of wands. Like, what in the actual fuck happened here? <laughs> I don't understand. So nuts. Trying to figure out the energy. Nine of wands, persistence. Okay, well, it doesn't matter because either way you're going to keep going, Leo. Why do we have the devil and the five of cups here, though? Let's pull a card on that. Mm -hmm. strength oh well they're, they're telling me absolutely nothing for you leo <laughs> they just brought out the leo card that is so stupid okay so we have the emperor and the ten of cups so we're gonna do two storylines leo um this could be you stepping into your emperor energy and it's very satisfying for you, right? It's bringing in a whole lot of wonderful things. So it's bringing in your 10 of cups. Now 10 of cups is happily ever after, right? It's, it's, um, the 10 of cups is a happy card. It's a joyful card. So what is your 10 of cups? Okay. What is it that brings you a whole lot of happiness, joy, and satisfaction? So this could be you stepping into this emperor energy. Hold on one second. I heard a big bang. One second. Okay, sorry about that, Leo. I heard a big bang and I wanted to make sure my kids were okay. 
All right, so this could be you stepping, I can't even breathe, <laughs> stepping into this emperor energy, which is bringing in your 10 of cups, whatever that is for you, something that really satisfies you and brings you a lot of joy. Or this could be a literal emperor, meaning a divine masculine bringing in um, your happiness, you know, because 10 of cups represents emotional happiness. So something emotional wise which brings you joy and you know emotions usually the cops represent emotions and love so this is some kind of emotional fulfillment so the question is is this you embodying that emotional i'm sorry is this you embodying the emperor which is bringing in your emotional fulfillment or is this a masculine which is embodying your emotional fulfillment for this time right um, we have the devil and then it came out with the five of cups, which is, you know, being disappointed about something. It literally says disappointment. It's, you know, you have three cups here, but two of the cups spilled over. And so somehow the energy of the 10 of cups is tainted by something, right? This devil energy. Now the devil is about, you know, um, habits that are unhealthy for us it's it's also like temptation and addictions and holding on to things which can be bad for us okay so those these two energies came out together right and then we have the ten of wands oppression <laughs> and this is the energy of feeling really weighed down by something you're you feel like you have a lot of responsibility um it could be financial responsibilities you know financial you know um responsibilities at home responsibilities taking care of children um work i mean just feeling really overwhelmed and bogged down by a lot of things okay um and then we have the nine of wands so it sounds really bad and really scary, my beautiful Leos, okay? But we have this nine of wands, which is persistence. So this is the wounded warrior card. This shows me that no matter what has happened, okay, no matter what, that whether this devil card, this, you know, five of cups, something didn't go as planned, this energy of feeling overwhelmed, this shows me that you're still going to continue to do your best, Leo. You're still going to continue to keep going. You know, you got the nine of wands, which is persistence. So it's, it's even though you feel like you're so tired and you can't go on any longer, you're going to still continue to go on. When I asked why we had this devil energy in the five of cups, they gave me this, which is the Leo card, <laughs> which is the card of strength. Okay. So they didn't tell me why we have this devil energy or this disappointment, right? This feeling of something not sitting well with our soul. But they did say we were strong enough to get through this, my beautiful Leos. You are strong enough to get through it. You, Your strength. This is your card. The strength card is the card of Leo. You have the power to overcome whatever this devil energy is, Leo. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we're going to pull two more cards and then we're going to move on to the other tarot deck. I'm sorry, Leo. I was hoping for better news for you, but I just don't know. Okay, four of discs. We have power. Okay, Leo. So this might be a blessing in disguise because the four of discs is, is about stepping into your personal power. Okay? <laughs> oh, yes. And we have justice. See? Okay, so we have the four of discs. You're stepping, this whole energy, Leo, it has to happen because it's setting you up for your greatest moment, right? It's it's setting you up to step into your personal power, which is going to create 
all sorts of amazing energy for you. It's going to create, you know, stability in your life, emotional stability, financial stability, right? And though you're going to have something really amazing happen, and then it's going to be not so good, and then all of a sudden, it's like, boom, you're going to wake up to the fact that you're, you are stepping into your own moments of power, okay? Justice is about the scales being evened, okay? So it's about getting that balance and that um, the equilibrium sort of that you need to step into your personal power. All of this stuff is just a blessing in disguise. It's like, you know, you have these moments where all of a sudden you're like, wow, things are really not going how I thought they were going to go, right? But yet, you know, you're looking at, the, you're not noticing the two of cups that are spilled over and the five of cups. You're sitting there looking at the three cups with gratitude, okay? And so justice is going to ensure that you get what you deserve because you've put in a lot of hard work, Leo, right? You put in a lot of hard work, Leo. Whether that's, you know, physical work, physical labor, or like just emotional work, like the shadow work, you're going to get your blessings. You know what? That personal power is a blessing in itself. Okay? Sometimes when things happen, we don't understand it. But it's, it's spirit's way of setting us up for the greater blessings to come, right? They're testing us. Right, Leo? It's spirit testing you. All right, let's see what we got. What else do we got for Leo? We have King of Pentacles. Death. Wow. Transformation, Leo. This is a lot of heavy transformative energy. You're a phoenix. It's beautiful. You're going to be just fine. Okay. That's Eight of Swords. What else do we have? Four of Pentacles. Temperance. Wow. Okay. So we're going to stop there and I might pull some more cards in a minute. We're going to interpret these. So we have the King of Pentacles. Now, this is the energy of, of having to be very patient, right? Also, the King of Pentacles is known as, you know, the perfect mate card. So if you were a feminine and, you know, this is the type of card you would want to see as like your masculine energy, right? It's, it's, it's known as the perfect husband or the perfect mate card. It's, you know, someone who's patient, kind, nurturing, respectful, right? Sort of like the emperor, but um, not as harsh, I guess, right? Because this is an earth sign energy, right? The emperor is represents a fire sign, masculine energy. This would represent an earth sign male. Okay. So there's somebody in your life right now, Leo, that might be embodying that energy. Okay. And there's something about that relationship. Now, whether it's a relationship, I don't mean it doesn't have to be like a love relationship, but there's something about this, you know, relationship, friendship, whatever it is, that is changing the way you see things, Leo. It's literally causing some sort of transformation in your life. So I don't know if 
this is your energy or if this is, you know, someone that you're working with or someone you're, you are friends with or someone you're having a relent, romantic relationship with, either way, it's transforming you in a positive way, okay? And we have the Eight of Swords. So be careful, Leo, of allowing your old way of thinking, those limited beliefs. Be careful that you don't allow them to come and ruin, you know, this, these lessons that you've already learned. You've already went through so much shadow work. You've already went through so much in, in, in this lifetime, okay? So be careful of allowing that energy to mess up all of these wonderful things that I can see coming for you in, you know, the very, very near future. Okay, because this is about letting those old thoughts sort of come into our mind and say, oh, you know, you're not good enough, Leo. Yes, you are. Okay. <laughs> okay. Spirit is saying they want you to save a little bit of money, put some away for a rainy day. Beware of overspending, Leo. Leo. <laughs> Why do Leos like to spend money so much? They want you to put some savings away for a rainy day, just in case we're not saying anything's going to happen. We're just saying be thrifty, okay? So beware of that energy in January. And then we have temperance. So spirit is asking you to be patient about something. We don't know what it is, so we're going to ask. Why do we have the temperance card here for Leo? Okay, so of course they didn't give me anything. They gave me the star. <laughs> but if you look at these cards, both of these cards are about pouring something. So this one, she's pouring out, right? This one, she's pouring into. So though she is pouring from one cup, she's pouring from one cup into another. She's not wasting her energy, okay? So... Take that how it resonates, Leo. Put that beautiful energy back into yourself instead of letting it run all over and trying to save everyone else. Pour some of that love right back into you, Leo, because you deserve it. Okay, so I'm not sure what spirit is asking you to be patient about, right? But this is a balance of energy. Look, we have the turtle and the bunny. They're saying don't give up hope. You're just going to need to be patient. But whatever it is, whatever secret wish that your heart has made, right? You know that song, um, a wish, a star, wait, oh God, a star is a wish your heart makes or something like that. I don't know. It's from the Cinderella movie, but that's what I'm hearing. A star is a wish your heart makes. So whatever wish you've been hoping for, Leo, it's coming. You just have to be patient. Okay? It's not going to happen right away. All right. Well, let's get one more card for Leo and then we're going to move on. Okay? What's the final message you want for Leo? <laughs> okay. Seven of Pentacles. All right. So Leo, there has been a lot of growth. You have to give yourself credit for all of the beautiful growth that you have went through this past year and in the past years, right? All of the seeds that you have planted, they're blossoming. It's just going to take some time and some patience and you're making steps in the right direction. Okay. Whatever seeds you've planted, whether that's financial or, you know, emotional, spiritual, even they're taking, you just have to have the patience to wait and see what spirit has in store for you. They're being so vague with your reading. It's so irritating. It's like, they're not telling me anything. All right. So we're going to go ahead and pull a numerology card for you. I don't know why they're being so vague, but it's annoying. All right. And then we're going to pull a charm for you and we're going to 
conclude this reading. So if anything in this reading resonated, Leo, um, please hit the like button and share with all your amazing Leo friends and subscribe. It's completely free for you. It doesn't cost you anything, my beauties. Okay. All right. Let's see. What do we have for Leo? What's the final Moonology message for Leo? We have New Moon and Sagittarius. Focus on the positive. One of the other signs that I just read for, I think it was Taurus, got this card as well. So, Leo, my beautiful Leo, um, Spirit is saying we don't want you to have, you know, toxic positivity, right? We want you to stay focused on the things that make you feel really good and delicious and beautiful and fulfilled and allow that to be your compass, Leo, okay? So if you like something and it makes you feel yummy, keep doing it because it's going to help to effortlessly raise your vibration, which is going to make everything so much easier for you. You're going to feel fulfilled and happy and you're not going to think about, you know, a million things which could go wrong or a million things that are going wrong. You're just going to focus on having fun. All right? There's nothing wrong with that, Leo. All right. Yay. Okay. Um, let's pull a charm for you. And we're going to be done. So here's my charms. See? There's a lot of them. So the story behind the charms is I went into meditation and connected with my spirit guides and they gave me messages, love and non-love messages for each of these charms. The only one that doesn't have a not or a, a regular message is the cherry. So the cherry is the only um, one that only has a love message. Okay. And the rest have either love, they have a love message and a regular message. So I usually look at you both. Okay, so my eyes are closed, you can't see. It took a long time to write down all of these um, meanings, but it was so worth it, Leo, so let's go. Oh, we have the owl, da, 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 da. can you see it? It's an owl. All right, let's see what the owl means, Leo. I wrote them all down. I have my little cheat sheet. All right. Owl. So, the regular meaning is wisdom. So, obviously, the owl represents wisdom. So, at this time, at this moment in time, Leo, you are learning so much. You are wise like the owl, my Leo. Um, and you've learned so much and you continue to learn so much and you are very wise beyond your years, my beautiful Leo. And the love meaning for that charm is watching. So someone is watching you, my Leo. They are keeping really close tabs on your social media and they are spying on you, my beautiful Leo. Take that as it resonates. And that sounds like a beautiful place to end this reading. I love you, Leo. Until February. Bye.